So here's just a finished sketch of the drawing. And then again, trying to speed it up a little bit, trying to come up with a line of action for the entire character, setting up a uh, circular shape for the head, kind of a beak coming out, the torso and the pelvis, and then using the uh, stick figures for the uh, arms and the legs, just to lay it out. Because eventually when you go back, sometimes you may adjust everything. Still using that egg shape, uh, egg head character for the eyes and the nose, even the nose is extended for the beak. And here right away, just moving the neck over to fit, fit in with the head shape and the uh, direction. And again, as you come up with a uh, stick figure line that's just building up the uh, stick figure to make it a little bit thicker. And that's what's going to give a little bit more substance to it. And just uh, plotting out the hands based off of the sketch. And again, you can see the line, kind of the center line, and then having it up or fleshing it out on either side to build that up. And always thinking, if you ever get lost in the organic part of it, just move this over, it's going to give you the geometry to help you uh, reposition the character. So that's kind of the overall piece. And then sometimes if you go back in with the, uh, the expression, it will help the rest of the drawing. And here I'm just trying to heavy up lines as it goes. And since the uh, line could be a thin or thick stroke, even by just sketching it back and forth, it's going to give some texture indicated by the line as well as the rest of the character. So where there's going to be a shallow thin line will come up there. So once you do the traditionally, you kind of fall into doing the face and then looking at the hands for a little more technique as far as their expression. Folding up all the face lines for the ones in shadow and trying to heavy those up as well. Just remember the hand with the mitten type style. Here's the, I'm holding a slingshot, just made the theme of hunting, but that would have had to work. <coughs> just kind of shading it as you go. Kind of splitting it so that you have the foreground view of that shape coming closer. And don't be afraid to use the ruler to help you with the drawing. It makes it much easier. Close that part up. And here's what I mean, like just by virtue of the line just being sketchy, it might add to the texture of the rest of the character. <laughs> Fast shading. Taking that part up. So it's a quick sketch, but placing it on there. And then when you have something like the neck or the shading, you can put that curvature, and that'll help define that shape. Kind of a cross-contour line that shows up. Little accent, gesture lines, and there you go.